Okay, we're back. I think so. I put it, um, what it's we should be live. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna watch from your phone. Okay, yep. here we are. And what did you do with the family? Just just the um, table. No, it's here. <laughs> oh, it's coming. No, but they're here. Then you open it. Look, boy, you don't want to clean your bed. Where is he? Oh. He's right there. I'm just gonna move it over here. Okay, Angie's here. We got someone in. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, stay there. Show them the table what we're doing. This is what we're doing today. That is what we are doing today. Christina's here. We got people. What's up, Christina and Angie? Today we I got a blue table again, but this this time we are actually going to keep it blue. We're not, not going to repaint it. I'm going to uh, blend, and uh, I think it's going to be fun. I actually really love this color because uh, it's such a, a vibrant blue, and um, I don't know. I've been dying to try uh, this color, and I thought this table is a perfect opportunity. And I'm going to do it uh, live. Right? How do we sound? We're, we're uh, experimenting again. Because we're using our AirPods uh, yes. as microphones. We both have. So we should both sound all right. How do we sound? I don't know. Something is wrong. We only have five people. But I, I, don't, I feel like something is wrong with us connecting today. We couldn't go live earlier. We tried connecting, and this is the second time. It's possible. Maybe I see 37. They'll end up coming. Yeah, YouTube will end we up. We had like a problem Something's going on. today. Uh, I don't know Hi, Maddie. I'm... Brush by Maddie's here. Hi, Maddie. Now there's 53. I think YouTube is just... Um, Hi, Probably Patricia. I, I think uh, everyone... Everybody's trying to go live. I think everyone... I think YouTube is just tripping out. Yeah. What's up, everybody? We sound fine. Great. Okay, perfect. So... So we're blending today? So we are blending today. I'm going to do simple blending. I'm not going to do anything crazy. Uh, nothing like uh, complicated. I actually want just to do uh, some like dark uh, areas to, to darken up a little bit. Uh, this table and uh, something similar like that I did in last uh, Friday's video in that green hutch. Very simple blending. Keep it simple. We got only three brushes here and two colors, so I want to keep it super simple. Uh, so also uh, blending, uh, you know, it's the, uh, going live and blending is definitely going out of my comfort zone, and I definitely want to go out of comfort zone. So I actually am excited too because you know, blending you never know what can come out on the other side. <laughs> Let's do it. You got your Hopefully water bottle? it's going to get good. Yes, I got my uh, Mr. Bottle. And let's start by... We already, she already put the first coat. Yeah, so I already did the first coat because I thought it's just not uh, necessary for you guys to see. You, I cleaned this piece, like always white lining. I always use that now. Uh, I apply first coat and I let it dry. And now that it's completely dry, I'm going to jump into the second coat. Uh, I'm going to use mini Dixie mini brush for to apply the base co color, which is blue. And it's cobalt blue. It's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blue color. I um, choose this color for this table because I wanted to keep those uh, the, the table like sharp and you know there is nothing like so much happening so i wanted to keep it like a 
it's vintage, but I wanted to give it a modern click to it. And I think the blue color is the way to go. So we're going to move this. We're not we need that right now. I'm going to start with the drawer. And I guess I'm just going to do the front. I don't know if we should move a light a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to move the light. Uh, when you when you position yourself, I'll get. So you guys can see. Hello, Walter. I need a chair. I didn't think this through. Here you go. I will give you a chair. Do more. Sorry, guys, gotta... There you go. That was too high. I'm gonna grab this one. Yeah, right, let's do chair. it. You want okay. Well, they wanna see me. Oh, I can flip the camera. What's up, guys? <laughs> Duty! I need to blend, Duty! What is wrong with you? Oh, I'm going to do vlogging all day. I have to work sometimes. Are you going to let me work? Oh my god, yeah. He's such a good boy. Okay. What's the matter with you? We're going to work? We're going to work today. We're going to work to do. Oh my god, you're such a good boy. Okay. Some uh, hair, or you know, it's better to blend if you have those hair. The blend is going to go on better i think i know okay all right i'm trying to get okay oh, hey, dude, you oh my god oh my god <laughs> you gotta move baby you gotta move the baby <laughs> stay there okay we're gonna work now if you play with him he ain't going nowhere no, 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 no. you gotta move there you go stay there stay there there you stay there <laughs> you have time to go to bed or he's not leaving you alone. Come on, let's go to bed. You're a good boy. You gotta go to bed. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. So I'm gonna just uh, spray my brush a little bit. I always do that. Just because... Uh, let's go. I, let's go to your bed. Go I love to, to add the mist to my brushes. Like, before I start painting. You know? So. <laughs> <All right. laughs> this, guy, <laughs> this is where he's at. He won't leave. <laughs> I'm trying to stay serious and film you, and he's just destroying me. <laughs> Do it, you boy. Okay, that's it. We gotta go to bed. Come on. Let's go to bed. Right, Let's, boy. Go. Let's go. Okay. Let's do it. So. Go to bed. You saw the workshop, uh, uh, workshop number one. Like I just don't like to load my brush with paint at all. You know, I just I feel like it creates all kind of problems. So I love to do clean coats. So that's what I always do. The How'd you guys like the workshop, by the way? Well, we only yeah. released one, but we finally released. We finally started. Hello from Turkey. What's up? Hello everybody from everywhere. And hi everybody. We got we just got started real fast today. So uh, we didn't say hi to everybody, but kind of yeah. did. But hi everybody. Thank you guys. Hi, guys, and uh, thank you for coming and uh, thank you for uh, becoming members. I really appreciate that. The the membership thing is growing, and I'm so happy to see that. Uh, we just finished the kitchen. Actually, I have to do three more coats of the protection, but like really kitchen is done. Oh, the kitchen. Yeah, it's been a crazy It's been crazy two months. Weeks. Two it's weeks. been a crazy month. Ever since we did last live, it's kind of been like, you know. Been... Oh, Angie, I don't know um, what to tell you, Angie. Um, you can try from, uh, I know some people have had better luck using a desktop. Um Okay. But I don't know. I don't know what could be the problem. Yeah. Hopefully that's going to get resolved. Because we do have people telling us that they can. Yeah, Christy, that was a good interview. I agree. With the, oh, Suzanne? Well, here, let me focus in on what you're yes. doing. Yes, so I just, I'm going to do, uh, actually, let me do the legs too. I'm just going to do front and then I'm going to, I love to do uh, section by section. That's how I feel comfortable. Uh, I don't have to worry about paint drying, you know, you sit there and take your time. 
You know what I don't like when we do, um, when I film the live from the phone, I yeah. can't tell it on what to focus. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> I know, it kind of sucks that I can't okay. hit the screen. So I'm going to do this late time. So, yes, I did interview with Suzanne, the founder of Dixie Bell. I absolutely love her. It was a great interview. I think she's such a nice and positive person. I love and she's so smart. So I think it went great. Um, hello, Brazil. Hello, Brazil. We ha have also, uh, tomorrow we are doing uh, another podcast. We will have a guest on the podcast the next, not this Monday, but Monday after that. We'll have Kim for, uh, from a Marketplace, 44 Marketplace. She's like a kitchen cabinet guru. And I am so excited to have her on the podcast so she can share with us all. All secrets about that's flipping. next week. That's oh, we got a member. <laughs> it's always it's always awesome when she Thank has you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think Gilly. I wasn't sure how to pronounce. I don't know name. if my dad figured out how to come and watch me. I hope he did. I hope he did because he was so excited. But Thank you guys. The membership has been awesome. Thank you so much for for joining the membership. We really appreciate that. And I wanted to share with you. They say your voice is not um, coming through as good as mine. Here, switch with me. How about now? Can you hear me better now? The same? We have problem. The same. Hmm? Nothing. <laughs> we had the problem the same last time. The same problem. Carlos is much more loud than me and... Uh, uh, okay, hopefully we fix that problem. We've just been talking, talking, talking. What? <laughs> okay, so now I'm going with a with a round small brush, which really doesn't matter which brush you're going. Now I just want to add black on uh, on here. Like it's not doesn't matter what brush you grab. I just brush this one because it's small. And uh, I think it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna apply like here. Remember, this is all wet. This is all wet. I'm not, so I apply the second coat and now I'm going with black. And I don't want that much, but I kind of do want it. So we're gonna put a little bit here. I'm gonna put here. And we just play with it. It's no big deal, you know? Just play with it. And see how it comes. A little bit here, a little bit here. And I'm going to do a little bit on the feet because I want to look like feet are darker. You know? Now they can't hear me. Well, I'm not talking. Carlos is not talking. <laughs> you don't hear me now, then. Okay. Can you guys hear him now? Because now Carlos is talking. Uh... So let us know if you can hear him. Okay. He's trying. Okay. And a little bit here, and a little bit here. I just keep adding a little bit and a little bit. But it's really all about like just details, you know? And wherever you feel like it fits, wherever you want it to be darker, just put some black. So now we have this, right? It looks like weird because it's like. No oh my god, look at all this. So no transition, right? It looks weird. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get my bottle. So you want some you want some water now on there. Even though it's very nice to blend now because it's all wet, you still want to add some water to go even smoother. That's it. Just a little water, and I'm now going with oval medium. I find this really good for blending. Uh, uh, mini is good for blending too, but I love this one. Uh, it goes on good. So I'm going to start here and now here. Just smooth that out. Smooth everything out. Hey, Kimberly. Hello, guys. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, blending is pretty, you see, pretty straightforward. so if you want, like I see now, there's like dark 
going on here that I want a little bit more blue. So we add more blue there. It's nothing hard. More blue. You can even leave it like that, or you can again go over for smooth transitions and do the same with the. It is easy, guys. <laughs> I promise you, it's easy. Just don't be be fearless. Just go with it. And if you are like every time I my hand gets like tight and and afraid and uh, you know, oh my god, how it's gonna come out? It doesn't come out good. So you just gotta go with it, and you gotta be like, okay, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna do my best. And if it's bad, who cares? I'm gonna repaint it. You see, so. Who? Hello, Yelena. Uh, did you tell that to join us? <laughs> Okay, we got it there. You see how nice it is now. We got a little bit of black. I want to actually a little bit more of black here because it's close to the feet. There we go. Hey, Sasha. And now we're gonna do it on the other side. I just love this color. There is something about this color that I'm so like impressed with it. Such a vibrant blue color, and I think it goes perfect with uh, gold. Guess what's coming after this? <laughs> I'm sure you can guess. It's going gold. It's going gold. Uh, gold is coming. It's not going anywhere. Okay, I love it. Look, look, guys. That's it. That's it. That's our blend. That that that's there is nothing. That's why I wanted to keep it super simple. Well, the name of the color. Then, uh, blue, it's called cobalt blue. Cobalt blue. Well, you see, and I like naturally, I just want to say blue cobalt. I naturally always lo love to switch words uh, for some reason. We got a little bit here. And then I'm going to add gold here and here and here and then gold hardware. And oh, I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to move, do on the sides. But that was it. Just so That's it. See how simple it is Literally, this is it. The only thing we did off the camera is the first coat. So and cleaning. And cleaning, but... Always cleaning. The blend is just as simple as that. Cleaning is cleaning is the most... I'm going to do... Uh, uh, we're going to put a tutorial now for the kitchen cabinets together. And I cannot tell you how much cleaning is important like even if you don't see me clean my pieces just know that I already did that off camera so always 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 clean your pieces I'm getting blue on the gold which doesn't really matter because I'm gonna like touch it up with a gilding wax okay so now I'm gonna continue with the blue I'm gonna do the side Here it is again. It, it happens quick because it's wet. Everything stays wet. So it's just second coat. Yeah. The, the next color, blend it, done. Yep. Hi, Kimberly. Hello, Kimberly. Welcome back. Uh, this table is now a little bit shaking. Uh, that's also because our floor is not straight here. So it's fine. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. So. The missing bottle is. Uh, I'm going to le uh, leave uh, links uh, under in the description later when I'm done. I'm just going to link everything. I'm going to link. Uh, Brushes, uh, mist bottle, and paint, and gold, and protection. Whatever I use, I'm going to link. I'm going to leave you all links, and that way you can just click there and go check it out. Uh, so you don't have to wonder about that. Also, if you guys can leave me a, a like, if you can give me a thumbs up, I will appreciate that while I have you here now. <laughs> It's just, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like now going.
There we go. There we go. Carlos always fix any problem we have going on. I'm like, it's okay. It can shake. No big deal. But I'm not behind the camera, so. Do you guys hear me? Well, they can hear me. Uh, we're gonna hear now if they answer. Yeah. Okay. Flavia loves your work. Thank you so much. I'm glad. I'm, I'm thank you so much, guys, for all your support. Uh, watching videos, commenting, sharing, uh, liking, uh, join membership. Like, I really appreciate all of that. Really? <laughs> I will love this table so much. It was sitting on the shelf in the uh, shop where we buy furniture. It was there for such a long time. And I don't know how I didn't see it earlier. Maybe I did, but I didn't pay attention to it because I always look for bigger pieces. So when I saw it, I'm like, oh my God, this is such a pretty piece. And it's perfect for blue because I had been looking for a piece, right piece to do this blue color for a long time. Kimberly loves the workshop. Thank you, Kimberly. We we really tried to make it like... Oh, who won the DVP? Oh, we are going to find that now because we're waiting to hear from Dixie Bell. They are going to tell us who is the winner. Oh, Your phone is uh, right here. We're going to find out who is the... Is there? I don't think they can hear me. I don't think you guys oh, can... They can hear me. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to find out. Carlos is going to check now if we got an email uh, from Dixie Bell. And we will announce the winner. And we have uh, another uh, Dixie Bell uh, giveaway coming next Wednesday for Wednesday for workshop. And I think for video. We'll be having a lot of giveaways. This coming now. Yeah, we are having actually a lot. A lot of giveaways, and they're all going to be a hundred dollars worth of uh, products, Dixie Bell products. So, no, I haven't received the reply. Let me send you. They're going to reply. Uh, they know that we have to announce the winner by the end of the day. So, I'm excited to <laughs> to see who is the winner too. It's you guys uh, were so much like commenting and. You loved, you loved, you guys love giveaways. So we're excited to, to hear from them. They're just busy too, you know? They're like super, super busy. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Maybe we get the while we're live so we can announce. Okay. No, we're not dealers. We just uh, are working close to women, but no, we're yes. not dealers. And thank you guys for using uh, our links for for ordering Dixie Bell. I noticed that. Yes. Uh, I noticed that you guys been using links to order uh, Dixie Bell through my link. And I really, really, we really appreciate that. Because, you know, when all this started, uh, like, YouTube kind of went down, you know. And you guys came through with uh, ordering pain through our links. And thank you for that. I'm... You see that that's too much. Like that's not necessary, you know? It's like I went overboard there. I don't like that. But so I'm just gonna go straight in there. Let's just blend. Okay. There we go. A little bit here. It's also uh you know, a little hard to see when it, when everything is wet, but once paint, the paint start drying, you guys are going to see the difference uh, and you're going to see the blend is going to be more obvious. So sometimes when, <clears throat> when I'm blending, not sometimes, most of the time when I'm blending, I just blend and then I step back and I wait, wait for paint to dry to see how it looks because that's what, you know, it gives me a better idea if I like it or I don't like it. So. I love it. Blending, I say this like if I paint, blending has to be easy. I think I can do it. <laughs> I've seen you blend so much. I know. I think blending is easy. I think you just keep the paint wet and spread it around. But then again, I haven't tried. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy to say when I watch you. 
I uh, blending is not my favorite. That's why I wanted to like show you these guys. Like I want to keep it as simple as possible. If you're a beginner in blending, you should try to just blend two colors. Don't go. Don't try to like go anything complicated and you know out of this world. Just try to keep it simple. And uh, you know sometimes I, I I just don't my blending is not blending is not my favorite neither. But as I said, I want to do it live because I want to get out of my comfort zone. You know, it's good sometimes to just like go out of comfort zone. So if I can blend live now, if I can blend, blend it all the time. That's it. Now it's all a little bit more dark here and dark here. This is looking like it will be pretty smooth when it's dry. Yeah. 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 Dixie Bell ends up. Ah. <laughs> Dixie Bell is amazing it's for a, blending. It's so blending, so yes. out of most chalk paints, this one ends up being smoother, where some other ones will end up having more texture. That's yep. basically what it comes down to. Yep. They can't hear me so much anymore, but that's fine. Uh, Dixie Bell is self-leveling. What Carlos was saying, I will repeat. Uh, Dixie Bell is self-leveling, and that's why... Uh, the blending comes out so smooth and transitions are amazing because there is not really texture. So the color goes into each other. And uh, in the last video, in the green piece video, I tried blending with a, with a cheap brush. And you, somebody said last week that they have problem when I say cheap brush. They don't know if it's cheap or it's cheap. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't right. I don't change anything. If, if it's inexpensive or if it's cheap, right? Like, cheap. cheap. Chip, chip brush. So <laughs> I tried blending with ch chip brush. <laughs> and I, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh my God, I lifted the paint. I was like, ah, oh, okay, this was a te terrible idea. I don't suggest you, I can do anything with a chip brush. With chip brush. It doesn't make the See difference. If you want to know how long it takes the furniture to dry when spraying it with water. Oh, it depends on your environment. It totally depends how human is it in your room, what's the temperature. Completely, it can like change from, uh, you know, temperature is the, playing the biggest role in that. So. Hello, Eleanor. She says hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, Eleanor. Thank you so much. I love this color. Isn't it gorgeous, guys? That is the same order I made. when. Uh, if you heard interview with uh, Suzanne, I was telling her how not long ago I ordered, uh, I, I ordered Dixie Bell colors. And Carlos is like, what did you do? Like, I had, oh, I ordered orange, this blue, uh, tree frog. Uh, I ordered pink pony, which ended up being my favorite color. And... I am now just using all these colors. I love uh, bright colors, guys. I love vibrant colors. I don't know. I have something special. I love bold colors and I love bold pieces. I love creating bold statement pieces. Whimsy, to become a member, it should be by the subscribe. It says join. Yes. Um, I can link it, but I can't right now. Would have to go out today. I don't know how to do it from the phone. Hello, Italy. Oh, speaking of memberships, because Christy's here. Yes. Um. Oh, Christina's mentioning a collab. That's kind of cool. What? You guys just do some mystery box of paint for a collaboration in the future. I was going to tell them about... Yeah, um, we can do that, Christina. We need to do some collaboration soon. We were planning to do, Christina and I were planning to do, and then all this happened, so everything changed. But, Christina, we need to, like, we need to put our mind into it and do some collab again. And thank you for, for coming, Christina. Christina is taking the day off. She, she didn't release the, the video. Hello, España. Hello, España. Hello, Europe and Australia. I was going to say, because Christy is here, and she, I'm pretty sure that Christy's a gold member. 
so you can tell them we're thinking of yes doing, we're always thinking of adding more special things to the membership so we're thinking for the gold members of maybe doing a zoom monthly type meeting we're going to do a, like a group zoom zoom meeting once a month for gold members and that way you guys can ask me whatever you want and i think that will be kind of cool because uh the the basic and the classic membership and the gold it's a big difference and i felt like you know <laughs> I want to do something special with the gold, for gold members. So, so we're going to keep adding to basic and, yes. and um, to, to everything. We're going to add to everything. I was just so busy, guys. I literally like just finished kitchen yesterday. I still have to go back later today to put another coat and tomorrow for another coat. But that kitchen took all of my time. I was supposed to use a spray gun. And in last moment, I decided to use my brush and my hand for video purposes, because I felt that is going to be a better explanation for you guys, because not everybody can afford an expensive gun to paint, a uh, paint gun. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do everything with this brush, with two of these, so one for Gator Hide, one, and one for paint. Oh my God. I, I Gator Hide, I, me and Gator Hide, like, I fell in love with Gator Hide, guys. That was like a big moment in my career. <laughs> a couple days ago, I was like, "Oh my god, Gator Hide is so such a such a uh, good protection." But I was like, kind of intimidated by it, like afraid. And now I finally learned the curve, and I cannot wait to share with all of you that. And that was thanks to Pim from next week. Yeah, next week. yeah, that is from. Um, I watched uh, Pam from 44 Marketplace. I watched Pam Haskins. Haskins. I watched her videos, her tutorials a lot. I spent hours watching her tutorials, uh, her videos and uh, her uh, live. She, she was going live, explaining everything. So I just kept watching every morning with my uh, morning cup of coffee. I watched Pam and I kept watching and I watched. I learned so much about painting kitchen cabinets and it came out really good. No problems. I am happy and can't wait to share with you guys. And uh, as soon as I'm done with that completely, I'm going to, I promise, I'm going to be more like, I'm going to give more to uh, to members on YouTube, to all members. And nothing changed for the, for people, for subscribers, nothing changed. Like, we're still... Oh, Christina, it's a standard. So you have... Thanks, girl. <laughs> you have... Oh, Christina has memberships now, too. Congratulations, oh, Christina. Right. Christina just started her membership yesterday, and now she has it, too. Uh, she took the week off, and uh, thank you for coming, even though it's your week off, and you guys can go over there, and you can uh, join her membership, too. And uh, I'm sure she is going to like go live eventually and everything. So uh, we have good things coming. So you have three brushes. Yes, I do. Three brushes. So one is one is for base coat, one is for caviar, and one is for blend. Gotcha. That's it. We're going to do the last side. Oh, this is almost dry up front, so I'm gonna show you when I'm done with this. Okay, let's do and then top and the bottom. I'm not so much worried about that. That's like Christy Zoom is free, it's just like a video app. Yeah, uh, it's like FaceTime, but you can have multiple people on at the same time, all in the same screen. Yeah. Can use it from your phone or your PC. Yep. I'm like, yep. Yep. You work for Zoom now? Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's really good. We use that for podcasts when we do uh, interviews. Yeah, that's what we use for the podcast. It's really good. It's better than Skype. In my opinion. <laughs> I'm sorry. So...
And I was holding the whole time I was painting. She loved her music. Thank you. She was, uh, what? I told her that I made the, the beat for the intro, the, like the podcast intro. Oh, yes. Yes, that's uh, my favorite Carlos beat. And uh, I absolutely love that. I'm in love with that. I'm actually, I love, before we used to use only Carlos beats. Uh, Carlos yeah, is... only our music. Ooh, Terry got basic. Thank you, Thank Terry. you, Terry. Uh, Carlos. Thank you guys so much. I think we got like 50 members. Yeah, I and think that's so. That's pretty insane. That's awesome. <laughs> like, that's Thank awesome. you, guys. I really appreciate it. Like, I'm so happy. It, we really both appreciate it. So, yes, Carlos used to, used to, this is like, oh. Just put it back on. Sasha upgraded. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you so much, guys. If our volume goes away, um, no, if the headphones go away, they're gonna connect to the phone, so okay. it's fine. It's not a big deal. Well, then what I should do is whatever. We'll tackle that when we get there. Yeah. Do you know? He's here. He's scratching his ear? He wanted to. Be a good boy. Don't scratch your ear. Um, thank you, okay. guys. I used to be a producer. Uh, yeah, my entire life was a music producer before half of my half of my life, I guess you can say. I my more a big chunk of my working life. It was as a music producer. Salsa. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello from Portugal. My wife loves... I love Portuguese. His wife watches you. Nice. Uh, no, it wasn't salsa, but I, I did a little bit of everything, but the majority of it was, like, hip-hop, or, I was kind of all over the place, but the majority was, was, uh, hip-hop music, but I did R&B, I've done rock, I've done some Spanish, work with some cool artists. He looks so fancy. <laughs> he doesn't want to brag about it, he's, like, all innocent, but he's, like, so fancy. <laughs> But uh, that beat is my favorite beat. That beat that he used in the uh, that we use in the podcast, we used in some of our videos too. That's my favorite. Yeah, we do, Christina. What? We do. She asked if we use a music service. I can't think of the name. Yeah, we do use. But yeah, uh, we do. It's just we do way too much work. I can't. I can't. I would never keep up with the amount of editing and filming, and then having to make music. It's just. And we ran through the through the your beats that you had. We we used them like we used we were using them for a long time until the September. We were using all Carlos beats. Yeah, but when we ramped up YouTube, it would have been impossible. For me and to then, um, our neighbor. I guess. Okay, let's blend some now. Let's blend. You go and we blend. Oh, Christina, it's epidemic, epidemic sound. I think I texted her. I think I texted, I think I you. texted it to you. I te I told you. I I gave you the name a long time ago. Basically, you can you got great music for I think fifteen bucks a month. Duke is back. And okay, yeah, you guys gotta like move a little bit. I'm sorry, Dochi, we gotta work. Make sure that his, his presence is felt. No, 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 don't get the. the, the. Sit, sit, and calm down. No, you can't do it now. Sit. Sit. Dochi boy, sit. He doesn't listen to me. He really listens, if, you know, but not really. He's like, yeah, whatever. No, no, we gotta go back to bed. We're almost, we're almost done. Okay, so 
I'm happy with that. I'm not going to keep going back and forth. I'm just making like corners dark. That's that what I'm doing, making corners dark and legs. And here is how it looks dried. I got a little bit here. This is the first leg. Fix that. We don't want those buildups. If you will have them. Your shoes. Oh, thank you so much. Those are old, but comfy. <laughs> they're comfortable in their kids' size. <laughs> their kids' shoes. Yeah, all the old music before she started talking was my music. It's just a bunch of hip-hop and rap beats. With okay. Videos. Yeah, and some people love, some people absolutely hated it. They were like... I love the, the kind of artist you are, but I do not love your taste of in music. They were like, ah. I got like in pain. <laughs> okay, guys, so we got that. Now I'm just going to go. I will show you what I'm going to do with the top. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the top. Uh, and then the tr front is going to be completely done by then. And now I'm going to put some protection and some gold. And I want to use the... Because you see now it's been a while since... Hello, I'm going to show them how I spray this. You see, every once in a while I refresh my brush. Give some moist. It's kind of difficult to film and read. <laughs> it's a lot going on. A lot going on? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I keep noticing that I'm like not looking at what you're telling me to look at because I'm reading. It's okay. It's fine. No big deal. No big deal, guys. Yeah, people used to hate the music. Christine loved it, but yeah, back then. I mean, even now they still hate it. Yeah. Some, some people just hate. I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's, we got to the point where it doesn't even matter. No. I kind of feel bad for those people, you know? I love this color. It's something special. Haters going to hate. Haters gonna hate. Oh, all <laughs> Haters gonna hate them. No. <laughs> Guys, I've been singing so much lately, going so around good. singing. I don't want to sing now. I'm singing like Serbian songs all day, for, like all the new. And Carlos is going crazy, and my dogs are start. Duke is starting to uh, speak back to me. Like I start singing, and he start barking at me. Leia is like moving away and I think I'm like destroying them with my singing. But what can I do? I love to sing. Gilly's a producer too. Really? Nice. There. Let me just do this. Thanks, Heather. Well, like uh her singing is uh <laughs> <laughs> My singing is amazing, guys. Amazing. It's, it's like so a... good that everybody's running away. <laughs> but I love, I love to sing. I really love, like, I enjoy it. But nobody else enjoys. Leah didn't even want to come today. Wow, she stay upstairs to enjoy in her accent chair. I have one big accent chair. It was just for Leia. She, the, I lately I've been using it too, but for years she, that she was the only one like sitting on, sleeping on that chair. Sometimes Duke will jump on it. Okay, so I'm gonna. Uh, let me let me get. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see. Okay. I think that's better. So I'm going to put some black now in the corners. 
I went like a lot with black. Yeah, it's okay. It's no big deal. I love a little bit like too curvy there. It's no big deal. You're like the guy, uh, you're like Bob Ross. No big deal. It's nothing, okay. Nothing is an accident. No, it's nothing is wrong. Nothing is problem. Sometimes. Oh, Christy's an in the car singer. Yeah, so let's catch up. What is that? Singing in the car. Oh, yeah. I mean, I sing everywhere. Yeah. There's no hiding from her. <laughs> no, yeah, you can't run away. <laughs> okay. Shayla, thank you for the membership. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hold on, just show them that. I will be just there to grab. Oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. So I'm going to. You see, I'm just going to get a little off. I do the blending, brush. the blending brush. Every once in a while, I will do that. No big deal. What? Really? Yeah, let's see if I got... You didn't get any blue. What's wrong with you? Uh, every once in a while, I will just like you know get of that extra, but it's you don't have to do that. It's not gonna make or break your a blend. So now we're gonna spray. Okay. Now we're gonna blend. I'm gonna start from here because at the end I put so much black, so I'm gonna start where it's lighter. It's really hard for me also to see with this lighting in here. And it's like such a rainy day and dark. Dark colors are just hard to see. That's where the problem No, they're not. If you if you have natural lighting, I'm if you look at the green flower right now. Green flower. I don't want anything to get stuck. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want paint to dry in that shape how it was. Oh. Okay. You see, I put so much black there. But it's okay. Oh my God, it's such a hard mission to see this. Like, I don't see anything. See, well, um, it looks good. I know, but it's, I mean, I don't even know if it looks, I don't really see because of the thing on top of me. Yeah. Is natural lighting the best, as Christy? Yes, natural lighting. If you have natural lighting, I just don't have it here and nothing I can do about it. But natural lighting, it is the best for everything, for waxing, blending. Look, I'm lifting the paint here. I can't, I, I, I can't, I got to turn off the lights up here. I really don't see what I'm doing because it's so bright on top of me and I don't like that. And now you don't see anything. No, I can still see. You can still see? Yeah. I will turn the lights back on. Yeah, I'm gonna... Um, hold on. It looks good, just the same thing. This is dark or... Yeah, I just need a little bit more blue in the, in the middle. Yeah. Hold on. Where's my blue? Oops. Yeah, I don't like. No, it's not to fix. It's just like I feel like it's too uh dark. too dark. Yeah, you just blend happy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna just now fix this because I absolutely don't see what I was doing. Cobalt blue kitty. Huh? Take oh my god, I'm blue. I'm lifting the paint. Uh -huh. Yep. Why is that? It's too wet. It's I'm going too soon. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna shape it a little bit better after it gets dry. I don't wanna touch it anymore. Yeah. So being too wet on this some paint? Yeah, you can. You can. I'm going to uh too I went too hard because I didn't I didn't see what I was doing. That's why so the lighting is so important. Like here everything was going so smooth because I was going so back and forth, like light. And then I go to blend on top and I don't see I always see it's like white thing from the coming from the top from the light. And then I keep going like hard and heavy with this brush. I went and I went too deep, too hard, too too fast. And uh, now I have to just let this calm down. And uh, I'm gonna like, uh, when, it, when everything gets dry, I'm gonna spray some water, reactivate the paint and then make it smoother. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing on the bottom now that I, uh, I have lights. I don't have the lights. On this, on this second bottom. The bottom might be hard. Too. But it can happen. It can happen. So, um, I struggle with with this studio. I struggle when I work with with dark colors. I really struggle, and uh, it's annoying, especially when the dark is gray like today. Uh, when the the day is sunny and nice, I don't have that much problem. But some project, I just struggle a lot with lighting and what I do. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's, uh, cause it's a rainy day outside. Yeah. That's the problem. No sun. I so it just it just it's it's hard in the studio, but I I gotta do what I gotta do, and uh, and then sometimes it's like uh, I put, turn on all lights, it's too much, and sometimes there is not enough light. It's just. It haven't been easy to be completely honest, being in this studio with the lighting, but I have to do what I have to do. And you know, I can't just never use dark colors. Like that's impossible. I love to use dark colors. And if I never use them, if I just always, you know, I, I don't want to do that. So sometimes I will run into some problems. So I'm just going to let this. Using dark colors with no light? It is not good. No. My headphone just. Went out. Yeah, I know. Mine too. I can hear it. I don't know why. So, Does that mean they're off? No, that means that they're going, the battery is going down. How do you know when they're off? Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, huh. okay. Okay, so I'm going to do now the same on the bottom. Now that I see, I'm just going to not do the same mistake that I did on top. I'm not going to repeat the same mistake. Let's see if I can get a better shot of this one. So. There you go. Everything was going smooth until the, the top. But it's okay. That's Let me see what, if I can get the light in a better position. That's what happens, you know. And that's normal. I ran into problems just like everybody else. It's nothing like, you know, new. Will this mess you up if I do it? Yeah. Messes you up? Yeah, like that's, yeah, it's fine, fine for now, but when I start blending, that's when I really feel to like to do what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So, it's gonna get pink in there. And I put glasses on, so I can see better. I'm not gonna make the same mistake for the top. The piece that I did uh, for, we did for actually, we already did for New Year. Oh, now they can hear me, but not you. So use this one. Uh, I did piece for Armoire, uh, tall, it, it's black and blue and gold. And we worked that for, for New Year's Eve. And I remember, oh my God, that was such a hell. Like, it was so it was so bad i was like i got a headache at the end not at the end i i get, got a headache for three days in a row from that piece because at that time i remember i had my old glasses and i was struggling so much with my eyes it was the same color black and blue. 
it was da- dark, even darker blue. It was like in the navy, I think it's called in the navy. So it's even darker, and I was like struggling big time, and uh, I hated that piece. I oh, I was I couldn't wait to finish. It was just from hell, project from hell. So. It's the black and, and blue Dixie Belle. Hmm? That's what you're talking about, right? Yes. Yeah, the black and blue Dixie Belle. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's just uh, it's just darker blue. It's not this blue. It's darker blue, and it was just so hard. So. Uh, after that, I got new glasses, so I can see better now. I don't get headaches, at least. But that was terrible way to start a new year. It was like, you know, first first project of the year. So we're going to just add black now. I'm not going to even go so crazy here because I don't want to ruin the legs. Oh. Mm-hmm. No. So. Move, Duchi boy. Duco, you got to go to your bed. Go to your bed. Come on. Go to, go to your bed. <laughs> Okay. Whoops. Okay. That's much better. No. Nothing is glitching. Transition is smooth. I should have done the same on top. So, if you don't see what you're doing, stop what you're doing. <laughs> Make sure you see what you're doing. Because you're going to end up with something that it's not supposed to go that way. So, my advice, the lesson we learned today. Okay. Yeah, I just got to add a little bit there. And I'm going to do the same on corners. I mean, around. Up front. This is drying. And you see, when you don't protect dark color, you get this white. Uh, this is dying too. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. You should just put them in. Well, now they're going to hear me better than you. Okay. So our headphones died. We're going to fix this mic problem. Now you guys are going to hear me better than her. But we're about to wrap up anyways, and we're going to fix this mic problem. We're going to use our good camera soon with our good mic. Um, let me read some comments. They said you sounded fine. Yeah, but then they died. Uh, the, oh, the old Daner's here. She says hi. But then they I, died. Yeah, died. The, the headphones, my, the one I had, it died. I don't know why my headphones are dying. Like, they're supposed to be good for six hours, I thought, and they're not. So, uh, I don't know what's problem with them. I charged them, fully charged, before I started this live. Okay, so we did that, and we did the same here. Just a little bit of black on the corner to darken up. That's it. I feel so bad that I left the paint on top. Such a shame, but it is what it is. Okay, so a little bit of dark here. Just want a little bit darker. Okay. Just more dark. You know, you can just play what you want, how much you want. You can kind of read some questions in there. There's questions. Oh, okay. There's some questions. I'm quiet in here. No, nothing yet. I'm reading. I'm reading now. 
Well, I can get my phone and go back. Yep. You can. Okay, so that's it. I'm not going to do anything else. I got some dark on the corners. Hold on. Can we move these lights? Yes. Yeah. Kind of dry, you guys can see it. Okay, that is the what is that round small? Yes, it's a round small. Round small, we're gonna go with the gilding wax. So, to show you guys the gold part in this, actually, this is still wet. I can go in here. So to show you, I'm actually just gonna put the gold and then I'm gonna seal with a top coat or gator high later this piece. But to show you now, I'm just gonna go with gold so we don't lose time because I can't put any protection on it. It's still wet and uh, it's very rainy day and it's, uh, humidity is high. So I guess that's playing some role. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna show them the brush. And... Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you guys. I just went straight. So I got um, gilding wax. Warm gold. And then... Uh... This brush I will link. I got them on Amazon. I got like 72 brushes and they were like... I don't They're know, super cheap. It's $8. I need them. A lot. I go, go through them a lot. So I just but didn't you say you wish they were bigger? You thought they were bigger? I wish they were uh, uh, more narrow. Like, they're kind of fat for what I wanted them. Whatever. They're cheap, but they will do the job. I will actually try to see if they're going to do Hold on, Carlos. I will... Let me just see how it's going to go here. Yeah, they're too fat. Oh, I got to go and get smaller. Never mind. And I have smaller. Okay, here we go. I got even smaller one. This one is like detail brush. This one, are, I think it's from Walmart. Super thin. So now I don't have to worry going over. I want to get this inside. Like, I want gold in there. And I always get gold all over my pieces. I get like I will do here. I'm not comfortable there. I gotta be in front of the piece to do that. I can change angle. <clears throat> There we go. But you're in front of the lights now, so I don't know if that's working. I'm not. Okay, we're getting gold. And if you go over with the gold, you can use mineral spirits to remove uh, gilding wax wherever you don't want it to be. So, no big deal. Happy little accidents. Happy little ones. <laughs> well, the top wasn't really had the accident but it's okay it is what it is don't mind that look at this blend it came out so good i love it and i don't mind spending hours going into details because i feel like it's all about the details guys it's all about the details how many colors of gilding does Dixie Bill have, Christina asked? A lot. You I do? Ha I just have black and gold. I know they have silver, bronze, and mo many more. There you go. A lot. I wanted to say something and I forgot. 
<laughs> Must not be very important. There we go. I love gold. And I feel like this blue is perfect to go gold. Blue and gold. Love your work, Miss Tay Tay. Thank you. Thank you so much. And someone said, oh, I know what I was going to say. Are you going to show when you apply the gator hide, Michelle asked. If you guys want, or I show, I can probably find better uh, on something else. They do want, but is it dry? I guess uh, you no. can do... I can do gator hide has to... For gator hide, your paint has to be completely dry. I don't rush gator hide. I learned so much about gator hide doing these kitchen cabinets that I, I I can't wait to share with you all that. But definitely one thing is that you want to your paint be dry, absolutely like hours dry. Like not dry and go jump into it. Like let it dry for minimum like four or five hours and no, then, go to bed. Go. And then uh start going with Gator Hide. Well I also learned with Gator Hide that Gator Hide loves water and does not love to be overworked. So I cannot wait to share with you guys everything. And also when you're using gilding wax, you want, uh, when you use gilding wax and you're going to put gator hide, you want to make sure that gilding wax is completely cured by air because before I tried to put gator hide on top of the uh, gilding wax immediately and I spread gold all over, like all over. So <laughs> you wanna make sure before you apply gator hide to your piece that gold is completely dry otherwise it's gonna spread but i do love uh, the fact that you can put gator hide on top of gilding wax uh, with dixie bell products i really love that that's very really good so i'm gonna put also here but you see here like my paint is kind of wet so i'm just gonna avoid corners I love gold. It's something special. It adds something special to pieces. And sometimes I go over wherever not wherever I where I'm not supposed to go, but I still don't care. Uh Linda, you cannot buy Dixie Bell at Home Depot. You have to Either order it online or find, a, find a retailer, a stockist, I'm sorry, in your area. And there's a lot. Yeah, there is. It depends where you live, but there's a lot of stockists around the country. Or you can order online. And if you're going to order online, you can use our links. <laughs> Yeah, they want to see you use gator hide. The problem is that um, uh, that's not gonna happen today. But we I can't put gator hide on this today. Yeah. But and also gator hide is in the kitchen. But next week, next week we have a kitchen uh, makeover, and I don't have gator hide at home right now. It's next easy. week we have a kitchen makeover where we're going to say. A lot. We use a lot of gator hide, so she I learned use, a lot of tips. Uh, so I use gator hide three coats on kitchen cabinets outside, one inside, and then I'm doing. I put uh, five so far on backsplash, and I put three on the back uh, on the countertops. So it's a lot of gator hide. I mastered it, and I'm so happy. Even though I'm so tired and I'm so over this protection pudding, like keep going, protecting and protecting, and you don't really see what you're, you know, you don't see anything. Nothing's changing, but you have to do that because, uh, like I said, I told. Because uh, she's putting multiple coats, so we go back every day. Yes. Yesterday I put two coats, uh, one, and then you have to wait a like, minimum two hours between coats. It's hard. If I was doing in my own house, my own kitchen, it will probably go faster because I don't have to like wait. Uh, you know, I can just like go at night and put protection in. But I just wanted to say that I am glad that you know this kitchen. I learned uh, getting so so much about Gator Hide, and it's uh, absolutely durable. I'm so happy how it's holding up on the on the kitchen. 
it's like I can see it's going to be a great uh, protection for that kitchen so I'm happy I will show you guys I can't wait really to share with you guys that so uh, so yeah no gator hide today but pretty in-depth you have to gator hide next week pretty in a lot of depth it's not that it's it's so in depth. Is that she figured out how to use it? So it's I gonna be a lot of good tips in there. Figure, I did figure out how to use it like like a pro. If you guys know what I mean, because before I will grab the sponge and every time I will kind of be like I'm like I can do it, but I will kind of be intimidated by it because you know I hear like oh a lot of people get in, run into problems and then. Uh, so I will have that kind of something in me when I was in. So when I started this kitchen, I was like, how I'm going to like gator hide the whole kitchen, everything. So I started researching and from Pam's videos, I learned that gator hide loves water and gator hide doesn't like to be overworked. And that was like, I'm like, oh my God, I, my eyes opened and I ran and I tried on the cabinet that I have here and I did and came out amazing so i'm going to tell you in the video that you just have to you know it's don't overwork it if you miss a spot just let it go and you're gonna come over by the third coat you're gonna completely protect everything which like if you're gonna protect the table i don't suggest you need i don't think you need three coats but for the tops you do need kind of three coats if you want the best durability your dressers and I'm so happy because yesterday on the kitchen, I uh, was doing, uh, the day before I was doing the top and then I got some paint on the kitchen side and then I just got the, the wet towel and I remove and I can see how water is staying on top of the gator hide. So that tells me the gator hide is like working and not letting water get through paint. So that's a big deal because I've also heard a lot of horror stories about people do kitchen, a whole kitchen and everything crackle or yellow or alligator hide i learned how to not yellow that's why you gotta go light and don't uh let a build up happens build ups are the worst for gator hide so gator hide apply thin coats don't overwork it and use the water i was like a whole time i did i was going with this constantly spraying my brush so uh, be, very, very important like you know I, I had no idea that you need to make your brush wet but I learned from Pam so she sounds great <laughs> she does professionally paint kitchens like once a month with her husband and she does a huge like triple the size of what I did so uh, and she goes live and she explains everything so I she has good reputation so I trusted her and uh, I'm so glad that I listened to her advices because it was a game changer for me. So thanks, Pam. And I can't Pam Haskins, 44 Marketplace. Yes, I can't wait to talk to her tomorrow. We're doing a. She's hilarious when her videos start. She's me and my wife are always, always get yes. in a good mood. She's yes. so full of energy. Yes. And she, she has such a southern baby. accent. Yes. Hey, y'all. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she's so positive she always smile she's a hustler but she works smart hard and smart like she figured everything out and i absolutely love her energy and i cannot wait to, to do interview. she'll be on the podcast next week not this week i'm gonna go now like i got a little bit gilding wax because you guys know how much i love gold and i'm not gonna stop here i'm gonna go like all of the corners oh yeah <laughs> I just love gold. I don't know what to say. Yeah, if you're Amazon is the worst way to go. If you're gonna buy Dixie Bell, then um go to a stockist because that's the best way. I mean they invested the most money. If not, use one of our links. Like me or any other person that not me i'm sorry my wife or any other person that you like to watch because it helps them yes so amazon is probably the worst way to go but you know you got to do what you got to do that's how you're gonna get it i know that some people love amazon it's just quick and it's safe but you pay more 
and everyone makes less. But yeah, if you learn from my wife and you use her links, then we get a small percentage of that. Ah, so I'm so putting so much. Uh, there you go. Ah, now I'm... no one's going to use your link now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, guys, I'm going crazy here with gold. Let me get some <laughs> I'm like having a gold party here. What are you gonna do to fix it? Nothing. I just get a cloth and a little bit get over. Like, I'm getting like so much, such a big amount. You know? So that's why I'm like going a little overboard here. Gold is good, but like, make it smooth, Katja. So. Where's my gold? Okay. You can put a little bit on the corners. How about that? A little bit there. Mm -hmm. A little bit here. We just don't really like to overdo it. So we don't like push our links on anyone or our membership or anything. Because at the end of the day... You know, I don't want to like you. I don't want you to feel like uncomfortable every time you come to my channel. At the yeah. end of the day, we're giving you all the stuff for free. That's like our goal here is just to yeah. if you feel it's worth something. Hey, there's memberships or all sorts of ways. But really just watching it or subscribing, it really helps us. And everything else is just, you know, just more help. Like if you if you use an affiliate link or if you become a member. That's why we made our memberships like two bucks or something for the cheap one because it's like, hey, if you really want to support the channel, just give oh, us two dollars. <laughs> it makes us extremely happy. I love how this is going. And look, guys, I'm not going to put it now, but I'm going to put it later. We're going to have this gold hardware. Mm -hmm. It's just original hardware. I'm going to go with it. So it's going to go really nice. Gold and blue. So I like how it's going. Uh, I gotta step back, check it out. Yeah, thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah, anytime you know, we sh probably should say it a lot more, but we don't. Anytime you use the links in the description to our videos, yeah. we do get a small amount of money for that. It's yes. just, uh, I forget, it's a percentage, but we do get something and um it yeah. helps like honestly the 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 coronavirus um kind of destroyed our youtube check but then luckily through memberships and affiliate links it hasn't been as bad as it should have been because um we made a little extra there so yeah you know the the coronavirus really destroyed the youtube money it's weird i don't know what happened it was on going on the way up because the summer or the winter was over and then you know it happened what it happens yeah claudia because we probably should say it more so i guess we're saying it now but we just don't want to push every you know every couple minutes hey use our links you know it's like support whoever you want we rather you support the stockists because they had to spend a lot of money to put that paint in their store and yeah. they have to pay rent and they have to pay employees mm -hmm. um so that's another good way too because you know but even uh, though they're doing good according suzanne, to uh suzanne yeah i asked her how the stock is start doing and she said that everybody's doing good because pay, paint is essential so a lot of people are getting into projects and uh it keeping it's keeping people busy occupied occupied <laughs> Uh, and it's good. And I'm laughing because in the interview right at the beginning, I asked Suzanne, how is she doing and how is she keeping say, keeping herself occupied dead? And Carlos tells me, when, occupied. Oh, of, of course, when everything is done, he tells me that's another word. I made that word up, but you guys uh, don't know that. I occupied. Mean, yeah. <laughs> I love to make up words uh, lately less before much more. Um, Oh, I used to say plastical and uh, romantical and all. I will uh, keep adding things at the end. I'm doing better, much better now. But still, here and there, I will just 
make up some word. I will add something to the English word. And I'm like, what's wrong? And he's like, it's occupied. I'm like, that's what I said. No, you did not say that. What did I say? <laughs> Uh, Thanks, Christina. But yeah, she loves this. That's why. That's why she makes so many of these. She yeah. really loves to paint. You, you love to just paint furniture. Oh yeah, I absolutely. If you didn't get a daughter, you'd probably still be doing this. Yeah, I I, I love this. Is my this is what this is my life. Like this is I just absolutely love. But I really love the. Uh, having freedom and being creative and going crazy and making mistakes and falling and getting up and fixing it i love that more than working as a robot like kitchen cabinet is pretty robotic because you know uh it's not there is not so much freedom in that but uh i i i had to do it like i felt i felt like it was needed. it's not even a bad hustle if like you could actually make a lot of money yeah doing that this is not her thing Mm -mm. But it's actually like a you can output gold a really money. viable job. That like, it's really you can make good money. Like you could charge at least two thousand dollars a kitchen. But I think it's also very robotic. Where you yeah, no, it's not something you're gonna do. But I'm just saying as a hustle, if you want to oh, paint, yeah. Yeah. if you want to use chalk paint and make money, yeah. I can see uh, I can see you doing a kitchen in a week. Yeah. And, and the next time I will, do, if I do another kitchen, I'm going to use a, a spray gun. You probably make like 1500 in profit, you know? Yeah. That's could, that's could be like your weekly check, but it's not for us. Yeah, I love Oh, I missed that question, but I think you said where is she from? She's from Serbia. Look how pretty that is. I just started it so lightly and I'm just keep going with this. You always do that. I just like keep going, keep going, more gold. Less is more, more is more. <laughs> I love less is more until it comes to the gold, then gold is gold. Do you? Uh, no, Linda, we, we have some of her furniture, but over 90% of her, yeah, almost all the furniture gets sold. No, guys, I did. Or repainted or uh, given away or it all leaves the house so sold it ends up leaving the house I, but she uh, keeps some of it for a while and then it goes away i uh, you guys don't know because i when before by christine oh i think christine is leaving okay i miss christina, a lot of chats thank you for uh, coming by and uh, bye christina we will do our videos next friday i mean oh and me and christina are doing a podcast on Wednesday, I don't know if I should talk about it, <laughs> if I can. Too late. But they don't know what we're doing. You talked about it. They don't know what we're doing. I just said we're doing podcast, but that's all. Oh, that's right. I know what you're talking <laughs> about. I was confused. Uh, what I wanted to say, that what I was saying, that in Colorado Springs, uh, before I had the YouTube channel, I used to paint, like, I don't know, how many pieces a week. So, just in Colorado Springs, I spent... I sold like hundreds of, of pieces. Before of we had a YouTube channel, she used to paint a lot, multiple pieces a week. So like between two and five, honestly, yeah. between I two and five pieces crazy. per week. We had a booth. It was more of a business, uh, um, you know, street. It was more of a street business and than, that's all than I was doing. online. That's all a... I did, like, for two years, I was just, like, going crazy and selling and painting and painting. And, and like, a lot of pieces ended up on, in, uh, on Instagram, but a lot of pieces never ended up, on, like... Hello, ever. Poland. Hello. Yeah, before we did YouTube, it was, like, more of a business. And it was... I don't know. She still liked it, so... What can I say? She just likes painting furniture. It was a lot more stressful. It was a lot more logistics fine furniture paint it at the house get it to the shop it was a lot it was and and uh and luckily she came on youtube and liked it and it was like a slow transition but eventually eventually we realized that we can make the same and possibly more in the future 
with YouTube videos. So we could now, we only do one piece a week. Or maybe two, if she has a customer that needs something on the side. So the workload is much less on that part. And then much more behind the scenes. Like way much, much more. Sherry, this is cobalt blue. And caviar. They're looking so good. I'm so sad. That it's my... just a blend, but the top. Uh, I'm so sad that my top lifted. It was. Uh, it's, it's still wet, too. I you have, can't fix yeah, it. I can't do nothing to the top now. You have to wait I, for it to dry. I start lifting the paint on my top. I'm so sad for that. But it, it is what it is. Uh, at least the bottom, the I didn't. It's dry. I learned my lesson. And uh, it's drying. Now I'm just gonna. It's Everything is drying, kind of. So. Oh, I just missed that last question before. Let me see. I can only read the phone and it gives me a few seconds. Where did you leave the phone? I don't know. Uh, these colors are cobalt blue and caviar. Yep. Yeah, my sides have to dry. Okay, let me see this side. I just keep going and doing the same thing. Now we do it here. Oh, how do you decide the color? How the okay, so this color was already decided in my head. I already had this color combination. Oh. When I when I was ordering Dixie Bell, I said I saw this cobalt blue on the website and I thought that that is that will look amazing with caviar, like blended like this. And then I bought it. I bought it three months ago. And it was sitting there because I didn't find the right piece. I thought the piece had uh, this combination that looks amazing on like straight lines and simply simplicity. Nothing, you know, nothing crazy going on. Sharp lines, square, and I imagine in my head that will look good. And I couldn't find a piece like that. And that I found this table. When I found this table, I was like, yeah, that's it. That's so sometimes I have uh, ideas in my head. I have a lot of ideas in my head stored, but I don't run uh, and force them on pieces just to get them out there. You know, I wait for those right pieces to come by and then I do them. But sometimes I just have to like, I just go. Uh, sometimes if I don't have any idea, I just gotta start from something, like from somewhere. And you see, you go from there. Sometimes you have to repaint if it comes out completely. Oh, Corey G is the winner. Corey G? I just saw the email. Okay. Corey G, C O R I G. Let me we type are... it in the chat. Yeah, also we're going to uh, let that person know. Corey, right? Congratulations, Corey. You won the Dixie Bell giveaway. And we have so many more coming, guys. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Yeah, every every workshop will have a giveaway attached. Next Friday's kitchen video will next, have a giveaway. Next Wednesday we're going, going to do a giveaway. And next Friday giveaway. So we have a lot of giveaways coming, guys. So... And we uh, try to keep them pretty simple, like, all you have to do is uh, uh, make sure you're subscribed to our channel, Dixie Bell channel, and leave a comment, and you're in. So. Oh, you know what? I need to, I need more mods. If you guys, some of you that are regular here that understand what a mod is. <clears throat> that would like to be a mod please let us know we only have one which is christina but um a few more would be great and uh i could actually drop the member link but have to go upstairs one second Okay, guys, so I'm just now going on corners. I don't know if you can see. Yes, you can. Oh, my God, that color is so pretty. <gasps> I absolutely love the color. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with me in this color. I so look so yummy. <laughs> and 
I'm just going now on the corners and I just will keep adding gold wherever I want, as much as I want, no rushing, enjoy your piece, enjoy your painting, uh, no need to rush, you know, it's all about the details, the more you go into details, the better results are going to be, in my opinion, that's how I feel. And that's my motto. It's been my motto for a long time. You know, I just feel like it's all about the details. So I heard that, I read that one day when I was like starting to paint, I read that. I think some designer said that. I read that and I was like, wow, that makes just a big a lot of sense. Like. The more you go into details, the better, you know, the piece, the, the things are going to come out. So, when you're creating something visual, I think. So, we just keep on going. Okay. So pretty. Gold is just so special to me. I'm just gonna. I'm using a cheap brush here. Nothing special. Cheap, cheap. Okay, I dropped the links. Okay. Gamer girl says hi. X gamer girl. Hi. Says your work is beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for hanging out today with us. Uh, we are. Trying to also figure out what will be the best time. I don't know. I, I don't want to go so late alive because I want uh, Europe to be able to catch me. And I don't want to go so early because I feel like, you know. Uh, yes, you use, you can use the gold before the clear wax. Yep, it is can. a wax. So you it's can. like a. Well, if I'm going to use wax, I'm going to add gold at the end, very end. But if I'm going to use top coat, gator height, I'm going to use under. Uh, with top coats and gator hide, uh, you want them to be the last thing you put. You even put them, if you, uh, with Dixie Bell, if you use black wax, you can put black wax and then to uh, put gator hide on top of black wax, which is like amazing because not a lot of uh, companies can, uh, products can do that. <coughs> you, so much noise. So, that's. That's what they're doing. I. Uh, is the gold wax good without gloves? Yes, it's uh, with your not, finger. Yeah, it's not. Oh, I mean, um. If you talk here, they hear you clearly. In the back. If I talk here. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, it is. If you guys, uh. If you guys uh, want to use gloves, use gloves. If you want to be safe, be safe. Nothing's wrong with that. I just cannot learn that lesson. I always say I'm going to go. Well, it's water-based. It's water-based. So, you're fine. Oh. What is this, Carlos? Now, I don't know. Oh, that means that she just became a member. Thank you, Thank Wendy. you so much. You see? That's where I kind of started lifting it. So we gotta let that dry and I gotta figure that out at the end. Uh, I'm just gonna continue now. Pretty much all the blending came out good except for the top. We had really bad lighting on the top. Yeah. The blue is uh, cobalt blue from yeah. Dixie Bell. Cobalt blue. I am going blue. to let the top dry. So if that happens to you, just stop right there. Like, just stop. Look, I think if you go, this makes it a mission. But if you go like this, okay, then uh, okay. they can hear you better. Okay, so if this happens to you, like happened to me, it will happen eventually. Even it happens to all of us. So just stop right there. Like, just stop. Don't. Don't freak out. Don't go crazy. Don't try to fix it. Just 
leave it. Let it be. Let it dry. And when it's dry, you will see where you want. I what I'm going to do when uh, once this is dry, I'm just going to first I'm going to let it dry completely. Like I'm not going to add. I'm so happy you remember it too. First, I'm going to let it dry completely for hours. I'm not going to touch it like at all. And then I'm going to reactivate. Uh, I'm going to uh, spray some uh, um, water here and there, just a little bit. And I'm going to like go lightly with a brush, add a little more of blue. Uh, there's plenty of black. So just to make that uh, transition smooth. So that's it. Nothing crazy. It happens. You're gonna show them. Yeah. I'm going to let that dry now. I'm not gonna touch anything. I will figure that out tomorrow. The this one came out good. Nothing's wrong with it. Like it is, I wish just I didn't force it, but it is what it is. So that's how it was supposed to be. So just a little bit of here, that. Here, it's dry here because that one's still wet. You can show on the side. On the side, it's really hard to see there. It's really dark. I'm going to show you here. You see? Uh, just a little bit of... The paint is Dixie Belle. Yes. That's right. Uh, you see, it's just dark here and dark here and around the corners. That was the goal, just to add some dark. Simple and blend. Yeah, we wanted to keep it very, I wanted to keep it very simple. Three brushes, two colors. Now I'm adding gold. That's because I love gold. But if you, you know, if you don't want gold, you don't have to add. I just absolutely love. Uh, you see when a lot of comments come in, it's so hard. Uh, yep. Yep, that's, that's, that's what we do. We're just, it is. <laughs> Buy one heart mess. Uh, actually about to wrap up too. Yeah, I'm about to leave too. Uh I just wanted to share with you this my last thoughts. So that's it. I'm going to post it on uh on Instagram. I'm going to post this once it's done on Instagram. I'm just gonna finish it first. So yes, I absolutely love this color. I'm in love with this blue color. So I'm going to finish, post it on Instagram. You guys can see. I would really like uh, if you guys uh, leave me, uh, uh, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> and <laughs> I will really, how you flip this? Okay, okay, here am I. Okay, I will really appreciate if you guys give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, I will uh, be going live again. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for membership. Thank you memberships. Thank you for joining. Uh, we I'm going to concentrate to give you more attention, guys, on the membership side. But uh, for now, I just want to finish this kitchen <laughs> and we'll be going more live. Uh, we're going to do next project. Live is going to be a huge dresser. So I think you guys going to love that. Uh, you guys stay safe there. Keep on painting, keep busy, create your art, co continue creating your art. And I love you guys so much. I am coming uh, on Monday. You guys going to have catch a podcast, Monday podcast. Wednesday, we have workshop, episode number workshop two, number and two. And three, maybe, and maybe three. two and three. We have for sure, we have uh, two workshops, which is distressing, wet distressing, two color distressing. And if Carlos has the, enough time, he will release number three, which is uh, dry brushing and creating aggressive uh, texture. So we have podcast Monday, Wednesday workshop, Friday, we have a kitchen cabinet makeover. And uh, that will be it, guys. I love you. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming and stopping by. And I will see you guys again next time. Bye, everybody. I don't know how to sign out. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Carlos doesn't know neither. Right here. Bye, guys. Bye.